Hello YouTube, this is Chesko from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking over where we left off in the last tutorial. In the last tutorial we, we discussed uh, hard cascades and, and how they're used in order to do face detection. We're going to be using not the same uh, thing, but something similar. It's, it's still based on, on what they call hard-like uh, features. and. Uh, it, instead of using it for face detection, we're going to be using for object recognition and, and using um, 2D uh, wavelets. Uh, it's based on, on the work by uh, Herbert Bay in, I believe, in 2000, when was it, 2006. It was an extension of the, of the Viola Jones and, and, the, and the safety operator. And also, this, are all, this is all part of the OpenCV documentation. So, if you have any time, uh, it will, you know, not only explain safety, it will also explain surf and the different parameters. And um, I'll be going over some of them here in in, in this code here. But um, I'm going to be showing you. Um, I'll be showing you uh, uh, a code here uh, that uh, is, uh, is, 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 uh, is uh, an extension of, well, let me show you here. And uh, let me explain the code. He is, is going to be importing the usual suspects. These are PIL, the PyLab, NumPy, SciPy. But it's also, I'm going to be using requests in order to do the request of, of the image. Um, let's say that you want an image, you see something that you like in the web and, and you would like to um, test your algorithm on it. You can just uh, uh, change this here and, and put uh, w the website where you where you found it and just tweak the, uh, the code here and just uh, and just you import it uh, once it's in the picture is imported is saved into the computer vision is by the in read as you can see here and then it's going to use the we're going to use the peer down function is this one right here it's based on the Gaussian uh, pyramids and this article here in the documentation explains how it works and uh, they go into detail it's a very good article if you have the time and it's also going to be using some of the these parameters right here what it's going to do is going to uh, it's going to read the image and if if no size is given like it's uh, it will do it will half the size of the original, 50% of the original. But you can change the size if, if you if you prefer. It, it will convert to a grayscale as you can see here. And it will be then it will pass to a sort of key point detection object. Uh, this mask right here, this mask will determine uh, what areas to apply the key point detector. And uh, as and right here, as you can see here this is here where a full loop what it's gonna do is gonna loop through all uh, the tenth key point as you can see for uh, each tenth key point is gonna plot a circle at the center and one circle showing the scale and the size okay and it's gonna be in, in green and uh, this is the RGB here or BGR <laughs> and uh, it's gonna show it and then once you close on it, it's going to destroy and it's going to close the window. So uh, this is the explanation of the code. Uh, nothing, nothing too hard. And let's run it. Uh, Python. Oop, no Python. Python. Before I run it, let me show you the original picture. This is uh, an image from the New York Times, uh, the real estate section, and it showed. Uh, I, the reason I picked this picture because there's a lot, of, a lot going on there. Uh, there's a, there's you know this 
dark colors here, the shade here, and the trees and the blue sky, and then lots of windows, lots of lots of things going on. So you're gonna be seeing uh, how it, how the the algorithm works. Okay, let's run it. And there it goes. It's really fast, as you can see here. This is the the image here. And as you can see, this area right here, there's a lot more circles. There's a lot more going on here. But in this area right here, there's not much, supposedly, there's not much going on. But it's still doing, as you can see, it's still seeing differences on the contrast and the background and the color. And the shade right here, that shade right here, you can see there that it, it sees the difference in, 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 in the change in, in, in background and, and color contrast. And uh, it's it's a uh, it's a very nice um, 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 algorithm, and it extends um, what we did in the last tutorial. And uh, like I said, if you have the time, you can go into these uh, these websites here that I show you, and it goes more into detail of how it works, the mathematics behind it, and uh, it gets more into detail of of how the algorithm is actually doing the the work. Um, and like I said, uh, like I always say, if you like this tutorial, uh, thank you for watching and please click the like box and I will see you next time in the next tutorial. Thank you.